Hello everyone, my name is DJ Lehan. I'm responsible for database and application development with the Secretariat of the Northwest Atlantic Fisheries Organization. It is my pleasure to demonstrate an application at all so that onboard observers can record retained and discarded catches. Just a quick background about NAFO. NAFO is an international regional fisheries management organization. The regulatory area is located east of Canada and the U.S. and directly south of Greenland. In 2019, 47 <laughs> vessels caught 74,000 tons of regulated species. The market value of these catches was around 360 million U.S. dollars or 300 million euro. Now for the presentation agenda. I'll start with the purpose of the observer app and then I'll give you a demonstration. Near the end of the demonstration, I'll show you the, the species identification process and then how you can measure a specimen in a photograph. The purpose of the observer app is to confidentially record observer information without the use of the flag state or vessel software or email. The app is designed for offline usage and very low satellite internet speed. The app has been successfully trialed at sea. The current phase of the project is to provide a secure website for the observer's quality assurance manager. This new website will list all catches that have been uploaded from the observer app. The next three slides will briefly describe the main information recorded by the app. Every time the fishing gear is set in the ocean, the observer logs where, when, and what gear was used. When the fishing gear is hauled on board the fishing vessel, the time and location is recorded. Most importantly for each haul, the weight of retained and discarded species is recorded. Now I will demonstrate the Observer app with screen captures. The Observer app was designed for a small handheld device. At the top of the home screen, shown in this slide, are the three main menu buttons. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will highlight the screen captures with the dashed pink oval. When the fishing gear is hauled on board the vessel, the observer will simply select the haul gear button. Rather than a long form of many data entry fields, the application uses a questionnaire approach for recording haul information. For each screen, detailed help is provided with a guided tour button in the top right hand of the screen. The guided tour feature narrates step-by-step -step how to use each area of the screen. When hauling the gear, the first question is, what date and time was the gear hauled? In the left screen, the observer enters the location of where the gear was hauled out of the ocean. Based on the observer's preference, the latitude and longitude can be entered in decimal degrees or degrees, minutes, and seconds. Once the location is entered, the observer selects the continue button. In the right screen, the observer enters the ocean depth of where the gear was hauled. Based on the observer's preference, the depth can be entered in meters or yards. In the top left screen, now the observer enters the discarded catches by selecting the add discarded button. In the top right screen, observers choose from a list of frequently caught discard species. In the lower left screen, the list of frequent species is configurable by selecting all species and then toggling the frequent on off button. In the lower right screen, the observer can select VME button and then select from a common list of VME species. Now for the species identification with a still camera. If the observer is unsure of the type of discarded species, the observer selects the unknown button. Then the observer uses the device's camera to capture a new photo or choose a previously captured photo from the device's library of photos. The list of available photographs in the device's library is filtered based on the time and date of when the catch was hauled on board the vessel. This will limit the number of pictures to choose from. The minutes or hours since the haul time is displayed below each photograph. For example, haul time plus X minutes. When a photo is selected, a copy of the photo is created and then the file size is significantly reduced with a file compression library. When the observer's device detects internet connectivity with the vessel, the catches and associated photos are uploaded through the NAFO Secretariat's computer network. The NAFO Secretariat will provide a secure website for the observer's quality assurance manager. This website is out of scope for this presentation. 
What is in scope for this presentation is a secure website for the species identification by an expert reviewer. An expert reviewer will log into a secure website. The hope is that the expert reviewer from one of NAFO's 24 member flag states will help identify the species. Observations are listed with the current count of identifications made by other expert reviewers. The reviewer will select the identify species button. The expert reviewer will now see a photo of the discarded species. The catch location is displayed on the map. When the expert reviewer starts to type the specimen's common or scientific name, a list of suggested species names appears below the entered text. The expert reviewer has the option to view the full description of the species on the inaturalist.org website. Now for the measurement of a species in a photo. For the crew's safety and the urgency of returning a species to the ocean, the website provides a feature to estimate the measurement of a discarded specimen in a photograph. Step one is to open a photograph from your photo library. Step two, in the photo, enter the known length. For example, in the photo, 50 centimeters between the ridges of the rear ramp. Step three, with a mouse pointer, draw a line over the known length in the photo. This line is displayed in red. Now, finally, step four. With a mouse pointer, draw a line over the discarded specimen in the photograph. The length of the specimen is automatically estimated. With calculations based on the relative length of the second line, when compared to the known length of the first line. Thank you so much for the opportunity to present. For more information, please email me at dlaycock at nafo.int. Are there any questions?